Alright, fasten your seatbelt, everyone. We are finally going to the oil rig. This is probably by far one of my favorite levels by far. So I'm really looking forward to going in this area. Yeah, look at how much detail they added in, in, in this. I'm quite impressed. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Alright. I think I'll be good here for these rings. You just need a theory about him, and then you're all set to go. I love the music. Possum, you have to shut down the main pump before the whole place blows sky high. Be careful though, Kaz's troops are out in force. I really love the music. Yeah, Willy Willy Oil Rig. Oh, man. Things can, can, can get tough, I will say this. Completely wiped. Alright. Yeah, if you blow up one of those fires over here, you'll gain some um, area. Or not area, but opals. Yeah, there's nothing you need to collect over there in this area. You just go through the stage and that's it. And this will and this will be a, a boss fight after this. So keep you got uh, so keep that in mind. Wow, this guy got destroyed by water. Oh, I love they added the suits too. That's that's really cool. I'm really impressed. You know what? Let's turn up the music a little bit. Alright, that's better. I really love this. Is there anything up there I need to collect? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect that. I might... But if this keeps up, I might have to do buy the Deadly Ring. I don't know where the figure of Bunny goes. Yes. I like the fact that the construction workers are, um, just standing there, it's like, um, we're okay, we're just, we're just on fire, so don't mind us. Right, let me get off for a sec, because maybe some button I can push. Oh no, it's just level bags. Right. Let's get the check regardless. So we go over here. Oh, they can double damage you. That sucks. Oh, just in time. This is epic, by the way. I really love this stage. Probably one of my favorites. It. 
Oh, just... Alright. Well, not a big deal. Alright. Maybe not this one. Oh. Maybe I have to get it. Yeah. Alright. Ugh. Alright. Not a big deal, I would say. Oh my goodness gracious. Sorry I couldn't talk that much. Oh crap, there's these guys. Oh. I was just focusing on this. He's gonna double hit me. Yep. Eh, what can you do? No. Gosh. Okay. I can't. I'm stuck. Something up here. I think these switches open up the doors, I believe. Wait, do I have to, um, yeah, I do. I had to activate all the switches. I don't know what this does. Okay. That opens up that. I don't know what the red switch does, honestly. It's just awful, it's alright. I'm not gonna collect that one. There's three? I guess so. Where's the Oh, it's right here. Right. Don't need to speak. So that opens up the ladder. Yeah. Good enough. Good enough. Uh oh. 
Is that the way we go? I think so. Oh, yeah, there's a boss fight coming up. Oh my gosh, yes. Right. Here we go. What are they? They, my little orange friend, are nanny bots. And as a whole, they are known as Buster. Strength! Well, I've got what I came for. Time to move on. Not without a fight. I was thinking the same thing. Buster? Take care of him. Ta ta ta. Boss Cass is gonna love this. <laughs> okay. This is really cool, actually. So, before I go ahead, I want to turn down the music a little bit. Alright. Yeah, so this is the next boss fight. Nano, um, Buster the Nano Fight. Um, Nano Boss. So, I really, I really love this boss compared to Patchy the Cybersaur. Hopefully I don't, we don't both die in the last battle. So, yeah. That's this I really enjoy this boss a lot. So what you have to do is you have to wait till it's open up its mouth and then you can shoot your rings at it. Um, but there's no faster way to do it, honestly. Well, Hopefully the recording is going to be good. I don't want anything to um, flash out. I didn't. Bro, are you serious? My Mega Ring didn't, collect, didn't um, contact with you. There we go. I don't know why it does. I don't know why it does that. Is it gonna? Yeah, it does. All right, so. This boss can turn into like different phases just like Patchy does, so they're gonna follow you. And if they do catch up to you, um, um, they will they will phase out some kind of like needle. I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, but um, yeah, they will they will attack you. So I would highly recommend not going close to them as much as possible. It, yes. Alright. I'll show you guys what I mean by it. So, I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, yeah, never do that. You always need to run away. And I think, if I'm correct, I think um, there's three phases. One of them, you'll get to see in a bit. One of them is, yeah, just so, that's a, um, watch out for it here. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think there's four more hits, and then we're good. Alright, JC's. JC's. No. Okay. No, not yet. Probably one more hit. Then. You guys get to see the next phase. No, gosh dang it. I don't know why he keeps doing that. I might have to lock on, honestly. But oh, I got it. I think yeah, I think this phase they should they should it should be the next phase. Yes. So it turns himself into a ball-like thing. 
and it just bounces until it catches up to you. And then it creates uh, some kind of like shock value. I think it damages you. But best not to go near it. Oh, you see that? Their the nanos keep on. Um, it's gonna be less now. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Two more, then we're all we're all good. And then I'll and I'll save up for the next part. So, all right. Yeah, they, I can see there's like less nano boss now. It's not much. Don't. Okay. No, don't dash. One more. One more. <laughs> that was close. I could sail on the boat. That's great. did it. I don't know what this is all about. And so Fluffy was tearing apart the oil rig looking for something. How strange. The thing she stole. What did it look like? Like a glowing cricket ball, but bright green. Sounds like a tennis ball. Tennis ball? Oh dear. That could be my bio-organic micro -scanalyzer. What's that? It's a machine that creates a holographic resonant image of the deoxyribonucleic constituent of any tissue sample. In English, mate? Who? Uh, it maps out your genetic structure. It shows what you're made of using pretty pictures. Ah! Why would Cass want that? I don't know. After all, it's useless without the power of a grid processor. Oh my! What's wrong, Julius? I remember reading about a break-in at Currawong University last month, and the only thing stolen was a grid processor. I bet you top dollar Fluffy stole it. Boss Cass is up to something. Something big. You may be right, Shaza. I need to work out what Cass is doing with all those parts. Let me know how you go, Julius. In the meantime, I've got some bush rescue jobs to do. Bio-organic micro-scanalyzer. Julius has excelled himself yet again. Will you stop doing that? Let us begin the test. Well, what are you waiting for? Turn it on! The scanalyzer will extract the genetic information from the mammal specimen, then use the grid processor to calculate which attributes we want for our frail soldier. Last, 
success! I'll call him Ubafril. Hmm. He has all the best qualities of a reptile and a mammal. Excellent! Now I can create an unstoppable army! I'm a genius. Mm, there are side effects, for the mammal that is. So cold. That's not a side effect, that's a feature. It'll make a great bullet point on the side of the box. <laughs> mm, the only thing we're lacking now is a large supply of unsuspecting mammals. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Carlos. I know exactly where we can find some. <laughs> Okay, mate. Those lovable Hollywood stars Birrell and Squeaver are in trouble again. Only this time it's for real. Looks like Cass's hoons have dressed up as film extras and are trying to destroy their film set. Stop them. Alright then. Well, I'm gonna do that, all that, in the next episode. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um... With all that said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more stuff like this. And with all that said, I'll catch you guys up in part 12. Peace.